Welcome back to the channel guys. Today I am going to be putting this turbo right here or right, I'm going to start working on it. Um, I do have a turbo manifold and uh, got to make a crossover. I'm going to reuse the driver's side header and uh, throw this one away. But yeah. All right. Um, before I get to it, I was planning on doing another hit at the track, just NA with the stall converter in it, but I didn't get to that. So we're not gonna worry about that because I made a couple passes with the stock converter and it ran 12.5 with a like two second 60 foot. But yeah, I really wanted to do that, but I'm not going to. And also on another note, Never had any problems with this thing really until I backed it in here to start working on the turbo kit and uh, the power steering cooler blew or something. I don't know what happened, but I was doing a lot of turning and you know, all of a sudden there was a mess. But yeah, I'm gonna take the exhaust off and probably take both headers off because I want to put a new V-band on this one because uh, this one's leaky. Um, I didn't clamp them together when I welded them and I think it warped one of them. So I'm going to take both headers off, the exhaust off, jack this thing up, and then I'm going to start building a crossover. I have a bunch of two and a half inch pipe. I have a two and a half inch slip joint, some V band. I'm going to build a rear crossover and, uh, Throw this thing on. I have a 60 millimeter wastegate, 50 millimeter blow off valve, uh, 10 AN timing cover, oil drain, whatever. I also have some stuff just to go on here. Yeah. Anyway, I'm gonna start tearing this thing apart and uh, probably have to take this wheel well out and the uh, wheel off. I really wanna keep the uh, wheel wells because uh yeah i i don't mind not having a hood if it rains it's i don't get caught in the rain very often but if it rains i really don't care if it gets water under the hood i'd rather have wheel wells over a hood so the uh turbo is probably going to stick up about this high so i'll have to cut a hole in the hood if i do another hood which my hood's way back there in the corner and uh all dented up dinged anyway the wastegate tube hits the wastegate merge right here it hits the uh, inner fender right around here I think so I'm gonna try and bow this down a little make some clearance that way I can keep the inner fenders because I mean if it gets a little bit wet it'll throw mud everywhere in here so I'd rather not delete the inner fenders as of now, but yeah, I'm going to get to tear the stuff apart and uh, I'll keep you guys. All right up. guys, so I got the exhaust off, um, header off on passenger and driver's side. Did not have to take this one off. I thought the V-band was leaking last time I pulled the exhaust, but it does not look like it's leaking. There's no black spots where it's... Uh, you know leaking out apparently I just didn't have it on right the last time I put it in but yeah so I didn't even have to take this one off and yeah also right here right here um, this right here is me this right here is the guy she tells me not to worry about <laughs> anyways right here is my exhaust full three inch exhaust with an X pipe. Uh, if you guys are looking for a uh, good sounding exhaust that uh, sounds like it's turning more RPMs than it actually is, go for an X pipe. I, I really like the X pipe. So I got the driver's side header back in and I cut this piece off of the exhaust. Took the two center off. I think I'm gonna start with this and uh, Put a plug in here and uh, start with this and build a crossover. Uh, let me see. Uh, 
try and go right right through here hopefully you guys can see that stay away from the torque converter but not lower than the engine oil pan should have plenty of clearance to do that and uh, yeah I'm gonna have this thing right below uh, the torque converter um, I don't know if you guys know what this is but some of you guys probably know but let me get this thing apart all right so this is a double slip joint is what it's called um, basically it's uh, just a joint one slides over another this comes over this well this right here and basically what that does is gives you some uh, wiggle room if uh, if it gets heat in it it'll expand and seal it but gives it a little bit of wiggle room that way when the engine heats up and everything expands it can still move without cracking the pipes and yeah that's about it so anyway I'm gonna get to working on this uh, crossover show you guys the finished product all right so I got the turbo manifold in here um, clears nicely everywhere let me just get a light there we go I mean it clears the stock uh, control arms with with uh, 2.2 four-cylinder springs in it yet and the eBay engine mounts clears just fine it does not clear the uh, wheel well though so I'm gonna have to do something about that because I really want to run wheel wells I think I'm just gonna have to it does clear the wheels so it should be good but if I can I want to modify the uh, wheel well back there a little bit so it so it fits but yeah I bolted this thing up and put a 45 in here which looks like it's gonna work I'll show you guys from down under so right here's the 45 what I'm trying to do is get this thing right in here somewhere in there and gonna have to do some pie cuts or something get the 45 over there right there is the uh, passenger si uh, driver's side so just gonna have to connect these two should uh shouldn't take too long hopefully I'll have it done in like an hour or two and also I am flux car welding everything since I don't have gas I didn't really want to get gas for this thing because um, got this thing from my brother and it was a return I don't know he got it for a good deal so I got it for basically free anyways I'm not sure the gas stuff works on this thing so I didn't buy gas I really want to just buy a bottle of argon and a TIG welder but didn't happen yet so once that happens I'll probably re rebuild the back pipe but for now the flux car will have to do I'll pray make the crossover and uh, clean it out the best I can with the wire brush wherever that thing's at and um, then probably start the engine up run it just to get the everything hot in there try to get everything out if there's stuff in there yet like flux core whatever splatter whatever try to get some of that out so it doesn't go through the turbine but yeah that's the plan see how it goes it's a nice clearance right back there can't really see it that well but everything clears nicely yup this is a Huron speed t6 manifold you guys didn't know already and I am running a uh, s480 would be 80 millimeter 96 back house uh, turbo turbine wheel and a t6 back housing and uh, yeah it's probably gonna stick out of the hood but that's fine I'm also not running an intercooler so yeah I, this setup's just gonna be for this fall yet I plan to do uh, maybe a holly mid-rise or something like that with a intercooler in it air to water intercooler in it next spring 
or then just wait till I get a TIG welder and make a cold side for a front mark mount intercooler but I'm not planning to run that much boost this fall so no more than 15 psi so it should be fine with E85 and uh, yeah just no no intercooler in E85 should be fine all right guys so after struggling for a couple hours I got this uh, crossover made gotta throw that in then I'm gonna fire it up and uh, Probably put the wastegate on and run it uh, without the O2 sensor and without the turbo on it just to get crop out of the exhaust and probably let it warm up and maybe even drive it. But yeah, try to get all that crap out so it doesn't go through the exhaust, ho exhaust housing of the turbo. But yeah, I'll throw this in and fire it up. So I think she's ready to start up. Got the wastegate on here, got the tire back on. I tried to get the wheel well on. It's going to take a lot more massaging, but I think I'm not going to worry about that for right now. Just going to worry about getting it back on the road and running, but there's plenty of clearance. Wow, that was loud. There is plenty of clearance for the wastegate and the tire, like four or five inches. So, uh, not really going to worry about that. Um, if I put a skinny on it, it should have quite a bit more clearance. Um, I shouldn't even have four or five inches of suspension travel up and down, like up, unless I do a wheelie or something like that. And if I do that, I'll probably have a skinny on. So, it should set the wheel out here. So, I'm not going to worry about yeah I'm just gonna fire this thing up try to get some of the flux core stuff out of the exhaust if there's any in there which I'm guessing there is so here we go There she is. Give you guys a front view. Sticks out of the hood quite a bit. I mean, the hood would normally probably come up to right here. And yeah, it might. If I had a call hood, it would probably stick out of the hood and then go straight under the cowl. But this is going to be kind of, kind of complicated. I'm going to have to do a, yeah, that's going to suck. Yeah, I'm probably going to do a, uh, just a 90 for the exhaust. Send it out the back or I might exit it out the fender. I'm not sure yet. We'll see. Anyway, I'm gonna bolt this thing on and uh, if Amazon truck comes in time, I'm probably gonna do the feed and the return yet. I have to put the timing cover right under here. I have a timing cover with the returns. Gonna plug the this one off and use this one. Alright guys, so turbo is on. I 
don't have the feed line ran yet. I don't have the return ran yet. Um, I do have everything ordered that I need. I think, I think I have everything. I have stuff for the exhaust. I don't have wastegate pipe, but this should be fine for now. And I have cold side stuff ordered and all the fittings and stuff for the return. And yeah, um, two and a half bar map sensor ordered. That just goes right on top where this map sensor is. And I also, I did not order injectors yet, but I have not completely decided on what I'm gonna order yet. But yeah, um, I'll do the rest of the stuff in a later video. So for now, uh, I'm gonna let you guys go and I hope to see you in the next video.